everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a review of Milpameni Chazabanagotu's new book, Nature Mandalas. Now, please excuse if my voice gets a bit croaky. I still have a lingering cough um, after having COVID. Now, I have the UK version here, which has been published by LOM Art, um, and it was released on the 31st of March. Now, the US release date is a little while away still. It's not until the 24th of May, which is a bit of time to wait. I wish um, both versions were released at the same time so we could all get it at once, um, but sometimes it's worth the wait. Now, the US version um, is, it does have a different publisher and it has a different cover. Um, so the cover of the US version has feathers on it. And just like the UK version, the cover pictures are inside for you to color as well. Now, um, this book is the same size as the much loved Circle of Life. They are both 25 by 25 centimeters and they are the same thickness as well. Now, the cover of Circle Life had those um, glossy accents, but um, Nature Mandala's is a fully matte cover. Okay. Um, and so we have our title page here, which is the same as our front cover. And there's also another of these images inside the book as well with um, a different center. Okay, here are our illustrated by and our nameplate pages. I actually really like the designs on these pages. A lot of the times when you get a coloring book there, um, the nameplate pages aren't that detailed. They just have a little small illustration, but these are super detailed. Um, and we've got butterflies, bugs, snails on this one. This is all birds. We've got birds' eggs. Now, the first thing I noticed about this book is the paper is a lot smoother to touch than in Circle of Life, but I will talk more about the paper when we get to the end because I have already coloured a page um, for a colour along in the book. Um, so I'll talk about the paper quality more when we get to there. Now, I really like these two pages as well. These are the underwater scenes. So we've got um, sort of spring... Well, not necessarily spring, spring, autumn. They're above ground nature scenes here. And we've got underwater scenes here for our um, publishing info. <clears throat> and then we've got a little blurb here. It says, escape into nature, relax and colour this collection of intricate mandala inspired illustrations designed to celebrate the unique beauty of the natural world from lush tropical rainforests and stunning seascapes to glorious wildflower meadows and magical woodland scenes. Explore fascinating habitats and colour the captivating creatures that live there. Find the whole world at your fingertips with this selection of medita meditative mandalas. Okay, and this is the uh, feather page which makes up the cover of the US version. Now, the first thing you're going to notice here is we are single-sided. The whole book is single-sided. Now, <clears throat> as I said at the beginning... This book is the same size and same thickness as Circle of Life. So what I did out of interest is I counted the illustrations in Circle of Life and then I counted how many illustrations were in um, Nature Mandalas. Now, I didn't include the um, illustration pages or the nameplate pages in the um, title page. So in Circle of Life, there's actually 86 illustrations and that's including um, a double page illustration as one. And in Nature Mandalas, we have 46 separate illustrations. So, and the prices are, this is in Australian dollars. So Nature Mandalas is going for $22.83 and it's got 46 illustrations. And Circle of Life is $22.99 and it has 86 different illustrations in it. So I thought that was a bit interesting to look at. So I know a lot of people prefer single-sided pages because um, they can use their different, their water mediums or their alcohol markers etc. Um, I do mainly use pencils so for me it's not a real big deal if it's um, single-sided or double um, but I do see why people prefer single-sided um, but yeah with it being single-sided you do get a lot less illustrations to colour and as you can see the illustrations are super detailed so it does work 
um, or would work well with your alcohol markers or your gel pens to get into those tiny little details. A bit like colouring um, Lost Ocean by Joanna Basford. Lots of tiny little details. We've got a safari page here. Now, a lot of the times the mandalas are quite typical in the repetitive pattern um, where, you know, you split it into quarters and each quarter matches. Um, but sometimes there are quite a few differences. Um, still matching, but not repetitive, um, which I quite enjoy. I mean, I really like when mandalas are repetitive because you colour one section and then... For the other three sections, you don't have to think. <laughs> There's no um, colour choices. You've got it all marked out for you and you just have to copy what you did um, for the other three sections. Unless you want to do all four sections different and have it, um, you know, maybe you might do it seasonal or something like that. But for the most part, it's quite relaxing. <laughs> so as you can see here, these two butterflies, no, they're moths, aren't they? They're moths. Um, yeah, caterpillar and moths. Um, these two match and then these two match here. Yeah. <clears throat> and we have a few different birds here. It looks like we've got some toucans, some cockatoos and then um, flamingos. This is really pretty. I'd love to see someone colour these dragonfly wings um, iridescent. Um, when I was looking through this book the first time, I was just thinking about um, metallic paints and lots of like gold, um, gold work that could be done through here. That's really cute. It kind of reminds me of one of the pages in Circle of Life with the two swans. Lots of bugs. Not a big fan of colouring bugs myself. We've got some more birds, some snakes. Yep, so we've got all, all the birds uh, matching and then you've got this centrepiece here. I quite like this one. Lots of different florals. An Aussie theme page, kookaburra, koala, emu, kangaroo. Underwater theme. Now this one is, if I remember correctly, this one. Yes, so you could colour this one and this one to match if you wanted to. It's just the centrepiece here that's a bit different. This is one of my favourite pages actually. This was going to be the one I coloured first. <clears throat> I like, I really like um, her underwater pages. This one's pretty. It's sort of a bit like the um, sunflower page from Circle of Life. Um, we've got all the flowers here which are quite similar. It's a repetitive pattern here. Um, now our little flowers growing here, we've got it starting from a bulb and growing up. So we've got the different phases. Another thing that um, was in the circle of life too, the different phases of like an insect that had the big butterfly page from it coming out of its cocoon. Okay, another underwater one. Lots of birds. So these details are really fine and tiny little details. Um, curious to see how people colour these, if they're using pencils um, or if they're going to use gel pens to get into those tiny little places. So this one is the same as the cover page and the title art. So we've just got a bit of extra honeycomb action going on in the middle. Uh, but it is the same as this page and, of course, the cover as well. Lots of very thick black lines in this book. Okay, lots of florals. I quite like this page. So we've got matching ones here, and then these ones match. So you've got 
I think it's four of each flower and then double of those. <clears throat> Horns and skulls. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, some sort of forest animals here. Some birds' nests in the middle there. Fruit, page of fruit. And these are tiny details. What are these? And now we've got the veggies. This is a good one for um for autumn. Yeah, pumpkins, your corn. Very nice autumn themed page. Um, we've got a galaxy here, different planets, or is this different? I wonder if that's different phases of the moon, actually. Do we think that's different phases of the moon? Maybe that's a full moon. And then we've got these um, comets on the outside. Yeah, I think... Uh, I'm thinking, well, I would colour it as different phases in the moon. I could be wrong. It could be different different looks at the surface of the earth. But, yeah, I'll go with moons. Um, got wolf. Is that a wolf? Are these little plants? They look like um, teeth. <laughs> Another ocean themed page. Oh, actually, is that one? <clears throat> that one might be this one. Yes, it is. So that page is the same as that page. You just got that centerpiece. So again, you can match them or you could basically color the same page two different ways if you've got a couple of different options of how you want to color the page. <clears throat> Another good one for autumn with some forest animals with our maple leaf, um, owls, deer, squirrel. This one's pretty cool. It's, um, I'm assuming that's earth. And then we've got these trees. They remind me of the um, tree of life symbol. But if you look at the leaves of the trees, it actually looks like flames. The, yeah, they look like flames. Which is interesting something a little bit different it's a bit kirby a bit kirby of milk mini this one i think is my very favorite page i love coloring toadstools um snails not so much but i love coloring toadstools so i think this is going to be a real fun one to color in some really nice bright colors as well this one's nice i can see this in lots of yellows and oranges the sun shining down on some sunflowers. What about here? Penguin. So this is another ocean themed uh, page. Are these crystals perhaps? So this one could be lots of blues, cool colours. Um, another page with some fruit and nuts. Pine cones, I think. Acorns. Okay. All sorts of animals on this one. We've got bugs, we've got snakes, we've got bats, birds. <clears throat> Safari themed, I'd say. The rhinos. Lots of oranges and reds and browns, I'd colour this page. See all these little um, circular rings in the middle? I can see them with some gold paint. Even the little um, vines twisting up there, I think would look good with some nice gold paint. This one I like as well, all the different cacti. It'd be nice. I can see that in greens, reds, pinks even. Lots of rabbits, lots of birds.
So again, I can see all this gold paint. I go all the way around up there actually. Yeah, and you could colour. So you got the sky around the hare or the rabbit, and then you got the sky behind the bird. So you could do one as like a daytime spring theme, and then one as a nighttime theme. Maybe just to contrast it. <clears throat> Bugs again. This reminds me of the spider from Circle of Life as well. Some horses and some. Apples. Uh, okay, so we've got fish jumping out of water and then we've got the birds and I'm assuming these are clouds. Another page which reminds me of the Tree of Life. Um, again, I can see a lot of gold paint. Really need to get the gold paint out for this book. Um, I think beautiful autumn leaves would look nice as well. Lots of autumn colours on that page. <clears throat> Another ocean theme. They're all different, aren't they? Yes, each section is completely different on this one. Do these match? So that actually might match with that and that. Yep, okay. And then does this one match? Yep, so that one, that one, and that one are all the same. And the coral here, here, and here are all the same. So the coral matches, and it's just what's inside each little section it is a different type of um, fish. foresty theme I like this one I almost color this one as well <clears throat> got a beautiful I can see this is a beautiful bright red flower in the center um, trees the sky beautiful sunset over here and then we've got nighttime and um, these two skies and these two skies are matching and then we've just got um, a fish a duck a frog and another type of bird on the other side. So what's in the water changes, but everything else is the same. Repetitive patterns. Um, so this one's another cool tone as well. We've got a snowflake in the center. I'm not sure if these are meant to be acorns or not. Um, and then we've got penguin, polar bear, deer or a moose and another type of bird and then this was the page I decided to color so I was going through autumn themed page here and I use Prisma colors um, and the background is Neo Color 2's so there is a color along going up very shortly for this page if anyone wishes to follow along um, now the Prisma colors did blend quite easily on the page. Um, I did say earlier that it is quite smooth compared to Circle of Life. I didn't have any issues with blending. I did have one issue though and that's with the light colours. So in the centre here I use cream and I noticed with the lighter colours the ink from the line art um, it smudged a bit. So instead of getting a nice crisp clean cream it became way a bit dirty, a bit grey looking, and that was okay for the colour that I was going for this page. Um, it, it matched. I wanted those um, dusty, dirty type of colours. Um, but if you want a nice crisp, like a bright yellow or something like that, it might. Um, you just have to be careful not to go over the line art with your pencil. So if you're colouring like this way, for example, it's going to smudge the lines a little bit. Um, otherwise takes water mediums quite well. Now I have only recently finished this, so it is still a little bit warped, but, um, as soon as I lay that flat with the book on top, it'll come out, um, perfectly flat again. Oh, and we have a little, um, flower there as our final page as well. 
So that is Circle of Life. No, it is not. It is Nature Mandalas. Um, on the back it says, Immerse yourself in the beauty and splendor of the nat natural world with 45 mandala-inspired designs to color. Why did I not read the back of the book before I went and, and counted every page? Now, I did count 46 because I counted that as well. Um, but yeah, 45 mandala inspired designs to color, explore tropical rainforests, woodlands, wondrous seascapes and wildflower meadows in this extraordinary coloring book. Now let me know down below what you think of this book. Um, let me know, uh, which page is your favorite. Now, um, I do have to say that I do prefer Circle of Life. Circle of Life is one of my favorite all time books, um, it's definitely up in my top five favorite book, Circle of Life. I could color every single page in that easily. Um, this one I don't love as much. And I'm hoping that we get another book from Mel Pimenti and it is more along the lines of Circle of Life. I like the circular designs and I do like mandalas, but I, for, I prefer the way she worked in Circle of Life to the illustrations in Nature Mandalas. That is just my opinion though. Uh, let me know what you think of the book down below. And thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and I will see you next time. Thank you so much. Bye for now.